Welcome back to News 13 at 6. It's one thing to grab a book and read about the wonders of science, technology, engineering, and math. But it's a different story if you give students resources so they can learn about it hands on. News 13's Andrew Ruiz joins us tonight with a pretty cool project being worked on at the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Andrew, the center invited 15 students to build several underwater vehicles. They did, Amy, and it's part of a week-long program frequently called the Sea Perch. These propellers have got the minds of students spinning, and spinning fast. It's a very interesting field, learning how to uh, put all this stuff together. It's a great experience, it really is. Martha Kay, who hopes to acquire a liberal arts degree in college, is expanding her horizons. She's taking part in the Sea Perch Camp with a group of sea cadets from around the country. I think to the kids it's an opportunity for them to be exposed to things that they wouldn't otherwise get to see. They've been able to tour this, this facility. On Wednesday, they began to build several sea perches or remotely operated underwater vehicles. Once built, their mission is to navigate the bottoms of pools while collecting magnets. I love it. I really do. I didn't think it would be this much fun because I don't even know where like batteries go into robots and stuff like that. So, I mean, much less making one. You know, a lot of these kids may have come into this thinking, oh, I, I could never build a robot. You know, it sounds pretty daunting in the beginning. Um, but once they've actually seen the program and done it themselves, then they know they have the ability to do things like this. And then maybe they'll go home and, and build something else cool. The Sea Cadets are the future of the Navy. Although they're not required to enlist, many choose to. The Sea Cadets really it helps you understand what's, what the military is going to be like. Whether they decide to join the Navy or not, this camp aims to accomplish one thing to let these cadets know that anything is possible. The Sea Perch program is available to many different groups. The Sea Cadets just chose to make it a week-long experience, and it's expected to conclude this weekend after they test the devices in the water. School may be out for the summer, but class is in session for a handful of teens attending a science camp. All this week, they had a chance to learn more about science, technology, and robots. As News 13's Kelsey Peck reports, today the teens faced off in an underwater competition with their high-tech creations. In groups of two or three, cadets are maneuvering robots they made themselves through an underwater obstacle course. Some cadets controlled their robots from above, others from below the surface of a Navy dive pool. A dozen cadets from across the country underwent sea perch training where they learned how to build a sea perch or remotely operated underwater vehicle. I showed them how these vehicles work in electrical sense and what's going on in their controllers and I helped them solder their parts together. The cadets competed with their robots, but it wasn't about identifying winners or losers. It was just the ending of the week-long Sea Perch program aimed at encouraging cadets' interest in science and engineering. I heard one of the female cadets say she thought she would never get this, but now she understands it and she loves it and she actually feels a personal attachment to her robot. And through this hands-on experience, cadets learn more about other subjects like math and technology. The regional coordinator for the U.S. Naval Sea Corps says it's those subjects that are extremely important in today's high-tech world. Uh, we're going to have uh, such a need for uh, scientists and, and engineers and everything in the future. That, that's, that's the whole purpose behind this. Reporting from Naval Support Activity Panama City, Kelsey Peck, News 13. Sea Perch is a national program available to any group. This year's Sea Cadet campers chose to make it a week-long experience. 